Hmm. I ain't been here in a while. I be forgetting I work here sometimes. Uh, welcome to the Galley Grub, where we reuse leftover meat. Uh, I probably shouldn't have told you that. Uh, how can I help you? How you doing, sir? Do you want to play a game with me? Might you don't get your freak out. <laughs> That's really strange you to tell somebody that when you first meet them. You want to play a game? Who you jigsaw? No. Huh? You his cousin? You related to him or something? No. What kind of game? It's simple, sir. If you beat me in rock, paper, scissors, I will give you so much money. Uh, playboy, how we going to do rock, paper, scissors and we don't have fingers? Right. How we going to tell which one it is? Mm. All of them look like rock. Look at this. Rock, rock, rock. Tie. It's going to be number ties. How you expect to play a game like that? Yeah, I guess you're right. How about Thumb War? Th Didn't I just say we ain't got no fingers? You mean Fin War? That's basically just arm wrestling. A thumb is not a finger. A thumb is a f All right. Okay. Try another game, bro. My patience is wearing thin. Bloody Knuckles. Oh, this man just gonna keep on naming games that involve body parts that we don't have. You ain't never looked down at your own fins, huh? Your mind still in your past life where you used to be a human? Or did you have a dream last night you was a human, woke up, forgot you a fish? Well, what game do you want to play? Shit, let's shoot some dice. I'll tell your ass up. Bet. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's another... Fifty dollars. Run me my money. You had trash. Were you supposed to win some of these games or something? Well, that's not how I expected this was gonna go. I guess I lost fair and square. You damn right, my boy. Easy money. What if I told you there's a way you could win more money that easily? Huh? More money? You say what? How much money you talking? I'm talking more than you can imagine. Here's my card. Hey, my boy, y'all gonna get sued. Why you got PlayStation buttons on your card? PlayStation does not own the rights to shapes. Come on now. I can't be the only person that thought of this when I seen this. You used to work for PlayStation and you created your own sister company or something? You trying to take them down from the inside legally? Hmm? Did they do you wrong? Fire you? You gonna become a villain? Is that your villain backstory? Hey, uh, can I borrow some money for the bus? For the bus? No, nigga! What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, what's with the mask? Oh, you not the talking type. You the silent type, huh? <laughs> Not the type to make the first move. It's cool. I break the ice. Uh, so this nigga on the phone said this is gonna be secretive. But what if I remember where you taking me? Because I mean, we in my same neighborhood. I can tell by the streets. Like that bump right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. We three streets over from my crib. Can y'all stop me by there? I gotta check on something. I think I left the water running. But uh, I mean, you can use knockout gas underwater, but ain't it gonna like evaporate or some shit. It's gonna disperse soon as y'all like open the canister. How y'all plan on knocking me out like that? Y'all didn't even think this stuff through, man. What's that smell? Man, some of y'all mad stanky as hell. Y'all gotta wash that motherfucker in night. Ah, thank you, Jimmy. Oh, what the hell? Ah, well, I feel like somebody knocked me out with a baseball bat. Boss man, you here too? Sketchy? Oh, it's so good to see you, my boy. What you doing here? I'm trying to make some money. Why else I'm gonna be here, dumbass? Damn, it was just a question. Why you gotta be so hostile? What's supposed to be going on here, sir? Uh, if everyone could shut up for a minute, I will go over the rules. The first game we'll be playing is red light, green light. Uh, uh, if you're caught slacking, we gonna shoot your ass down. Uh, uh, big chop of rounds. Wait, did he just say shoot? Like gun and all? Uh, that sure sound like what he said, boss man. Wait, red light, green light? What niggas actually played that game? Nigga, shut up and play the game. On your mark, get set, rent. <laughs> That's your ass. Rant Move, line. get the hell out of my way. Red line. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your stupid ass get, boy. <laughs> Dumbass. Alright, y'all made the next cut. The next game we're playing is Honeycomb. <laughs> I never heard of this game in my life. Just fucking cut the shape out of the cookie. It ain't rocket science, nigga. <laughs> Dumbass. Hey, that's what's up. That's y'all ass. I used to draw these so much in high school. Man, crazy. Everybody used to be like, how you do it? How you do it? They used to look at the three lines at the top. They look at the three lines at the bottom. And be like, what you gonna do next? And they'd be standing over my shoulder. All the kids be looking at me in class. And I'd just connect one, connect two, connect three, connect four. Kind of like the game, but it's not that game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I spit a little ball for y'all, little, little brain ass. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? And look, right, there we go. Done. Just like I used to draw in class. Damn! I 
thought there was gonna be weed in here. That's your ass, Sketchy. Good luck. Hey, didn't you just die? Yeah, yeah. I die and come back in like every episode. It's not new news. But this the same episode. Yeah, I don't know. The writer is lazy as hell. Plus, it's a low budget on the voice acting. God damn it, you made me mess up. Wait, no, 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 please. He distracted me. It don't count. It don't count. Wasn't he the nigga who got squished by the bus? All right, boys and girls, stand back. Feel free to take some notes if you need to. I'm going to show you how it's done. <laughs> I don't know, man. He ain't the main character, so it's hard for me to remember side characters. Maybe we'll do one episode where we go back into his life and see what he actually got going on as a filler when we can't think of nothing. The next game is Tug of War. See, now I played this one before. Can y'all just shoot that nigga? <laughs> he keeps talking. No, I damn. Pick your team. Four on four. <laughs> Somebody's gonna die. Hopefully it's that nigga with the hat fan. <laughs> it looks stupid. Is it a hat or is it a fan? All right, Sketchy, I'll go find somebody. You go find somebody. We're going to come back. We're going to make a team. Bet. I got you. What's up, little mama? You trying to be on my team? You know what I'm saying? If this whole team thing don't work out, you know what I'm saying? We can make a little dream before we get put under the under the sea. And I ain't talking about Little Mermaid. You know what I'm saying? Before they kill a nigga. Is your team strong? You looking at the strongest fish in here, baby. Trust me. Uh-huh. All right. Let's give it a try. Oh, hell no. Why would you pick this nigga? Why not? Because he already died two times. We're going to lose because of him. No, no, no. Trust me, bro. I'm the animator. I'll make sure we'll win. And begin. Pull, nigga. Come on, Mr. Animator Man. Help us out. All right, man. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, shit. I'm Jack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, sir. I owe you my life, literally. Like, I am in debt to you. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything you want? Anything, seriously. Like, I don't think I could have made it without you. Like, anything. Oh, word? We're gonna get a little busy, busy after all this is over. Woo! What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm -hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say what happened when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Oh, goddamn! You don't think if he was an animator. He would animate himself not dying? Get in pairs of two. <laughs> Sketchy, be my partner. Come on. Let's go ahead and kill that ass. Man, hell no. Your ass ain't about it. I'm going to go pick the animator again. I got a vantage plan with him. Fuck me, please. Me? Be my partner? Huh? Don't worry, baby. I got you. Play against each other. The loser dies. Yeah, I got y'all goofy asses. <laughs> Oh, god damn, I did not see this coming. The riders are wilding. Tut, you gotta let me win. Did you see I um I got a son at home? Oh, you got kids. I guess we can just see how this goes, yeah? Damn! Guess you should just give me your marbles, huh? Since they might kill you anyways. Uh yeah, I I, I guess so. Well, um, here you go, bro. Good luck. Uh yeah. I tell you what. If you guess the number I'm thinking of, I give you all my marbles. It's an easy game. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. Sixty-nine. Damn. I mean, no. You lose. Sorry, baby. Shoot, I. I, I lose. Ah! Uh, I know your dumb ass was thinking sixty-nine. Damn. She was sixty-two. <sighs> Another one by stress. I gotta win this money. Animated die again. Yeah. He was really nice about it though. Oh, that's what's up. Now y'all ass gonna cross this bridge. Pick the wrong run and your ass is done. <laughs> How is that fair at all? This has nothing to do with skill. It's just luck. It's just for y'all entertainment. Y'all up there drinking wine and shit, watching us struggle. All right, it's the last square. Which one do y'all think is the safe one? No, 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 not that one. Let's go, boss man. Shit, let go. Good thing it's sketchy. Welcome to the last three. How is he even still? It may. All right. I, no, you know what? I'm not gonna say nothing else. Whatever. Only one of you will survive this game. We was gonna have y'all play squid games, but we don't know the fucking rules. So y'all ass just gonna race. <laughs> Foot race. Whoever makes it to the other side first wins a trillion dollars. Pick y'all Jordans and get ready. <laughs> 
Damn, they eat clean. Can we keep them out though? Yeah, if you survive. Bit, bit. On your mark, get set. <laughs> Damn you, Sketchy. I don't want to be the reason you die, boss, man. Let's win together. Spent a trillion dollars both ways. Yeah, fuck that other fish. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. A few inches later. <sighs> Whoa! Sketchy, we rich. We rich. Yes, sir. I'ma buy myself some more money with the money they gonna give us. <laughs> uh, I don't think it worked that way, but I. Right. Uh, a tie. Hold up. We weren't prepared for this. Can we finish on a tie? Yeah, guys. We ain't supposed to have two winners, so I guess both y'all last lose. What? You gonna shoot both of us? I knew I should have tripped your ass too. Fuck! Well, y'all ain't lose, but y'all ain't win, so I guess we'll just send y'all ass home. Guess we killed all those fishes for no damn reason. Oh well, I'll just keep the trillion and make another game in a week. <laughs> More fish are gonna die. For my entertainment. Uh, okay. I guess I can live with that. Literally. So y'all gonna drive a nigga home or what? Negative. That's not in our budget. You would have to walk home. It's not y'all budget, but y'all literally just had a lot of money floating up in... Y'all can't use that? Can I dip into that and get like some gas money or something? You know what? You know what? You know what? That's better than being shot. I'll just leave. Naked. What? Give me your gloves. <laughs> Cody, fuck out here, boy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, sketchy. Since when you got a tramp stamp? Tattoo. I got a tramp stamp? Hey, yo, Tech Wheezy, you trying to roll up? Yeah, I ain't smoked in a minute, too. That's a good idea. For sure, homie. Man, Sponge, do you remember last year? When that dude showed up at the Krusty Krab and you were taking your arms off and stuff? Tell me the story! Look, man, my man's was just trying to secure the PS5, then boom! And then he had to throw them hands. Just all kinds of hands, just everywhere. Just so many hands. You mean like this? Or like this? Or no, this? No, no, or stop like that. This? Stop that. Ew, stop. No, not like that. Back to the story. Then his side chick called and said she missed her period. So? And he remembers he didn't pull out in time. Man, those were some good times. I remember that. That was some good times. Even though I almost punched you in the throat that day. <laughs> Wait a minute. How come I'm always with you around Halloween time? Because I hate Halloween. And you are the only one in Bikini Bottom that got that gas. No, I'm not stupid. I get all my grams from Sketchy. Why don't you just hit him up yourself? I don't fuck with him like that anymore. Wait, wait, why not? That bitch ass Nick had took my job. I used to work for Mr. Krabs full time. And now I barely get any time on the screen. Oh yeah, fans have been asking where you was in the comments. It's messed up though. Even Patrick got his own show. Fuck Patrick, this show sucks anyway. Oh, hey, hey, Sponge, chill out. It's kids here. Go home, take a nap or something. I'll see you later at the Krusty Krab. You better not scare me again. All right, fam, I got you. Of course I'm gonna scare your head. Crazy head, dude. <laughs> Slice of butter looking at head, nigga. I'm gonna scare the shit out your head. What can I do? Hmm. That nigga hate clowns. Yeah, and he hate hot sauce. I'ma walk in the Krusty Krab with a clown costume and a ball of Louisiana. That nigga gonna be terrified I am on his ass. What? Uh, who could it be this late? I hope it's Shandy. I've been needing her all day. I hope it ain't one of my old hoes. I do not feel like trying too hard right now. Trick or tree. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot it was Halloween. What you want, little kid? All I got is candy corn. Oh no, it is okay, sir. I don't want any candy. Uh, hmm, you don't want a treat. You want a trick? I'ma tell you where to find a trick at. You see down there in that street where that lady getting picked up in that van? That's where you find you a trick. No, I do not want that. I have moved on from my hoeing days. I have a husband now, so I do not want that. Oh, you don't want that? That ain't the trick you were looking for. You can trick your ass about my point. <laughs> he little kids spoiled the hell these days. Don't want no trick, don't want no treat. What kind of kid don't want no trick? Tricks are for kids, right? Oh, that's probably another kid. Let me go get the candy corn. Hey, what up? Oh, 
You again. Why are you still here? Please, sir. All I want is to ask you a couple of questions. Oh, no wonder. You ain't even a kid. You clearly a spam robot. No, I am not a robot. I am just a little kid. Whatever. What you want, though? Well, sir, my request is pretty humble. All I want to know is, do you know how to make a Krabby Patty? Uh, not really. I know how to make the actual patty, but I just can't grill them bitches for nothing. Wait. Why you wanna know? I just wanted to know if you knew the secret formula. Of course I know the secret formula. All the employees know the secret formula, dumbass little kid. I am not a dumbass little kid. I am a robot. I mean, no, I am a little kid. Anyway, can you tell me the formula? Hell no. What's in it for me? I will give you five dollars and some sloppy toppy. She deal. Okay, wait. I don't have the money on me right now. But let me go run to my store real quick and get it. Run to your store and get it? Oh, you trying to scam me. I knew it. Get your ass on my porch, little kid. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what he thought it was. You ain't had that $5? That's your ass. Looky here. I have the $5 and my throat is warm and ready. Hell no, you missed your opportunity. That beer probably fake anyway. Now scram. I swear next time you ring my doorbell, I'm swinging on your little ass. All of my might will be swung on your little ass. All right, I don't care if you're a kid or a robot or whatever. Anybody come to my porch bothering me on my day where I ain't had my fun time. I, I forgot you was a kid, you know. Wait a minute, you a robot, it don't matter. You getting these hands, robot kid person. I swear, look kid don't want it. I'm gonna put my full force into it too. I wish you would. I wanna hear a knock on the door. Please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi, Daddy. What's ah, up? Ah! Bitch, I told you that's your ass. Oh, baby. Oh no, baby. I knocked your ass out with my full force. I put my all into it too. Oh my god. Did you just punch a pregnant lady? I think he did. Oh shit. <laughs> I guess I asked for that one. Damn, I ain't even get to scare SpongeBob this year. Now who gonna bail me out? I hope don't nobody come bail your little sexy ass out. Hey boys, this here is a woman beater. Ah, no, no, no. Beater? See, I thought it was a little it's kid because that was getting on my nerves, ah. knocking on my door. Let's, oh, this here is a children beater. Let's get them, boys. Yeah. <laughs> So, I can tell that there is tension in the room. We're going to slowly get through this, guys, okay? Now, why don't we start off with Mr. Darius? Don't call me that. You don't know me like that. To you, I'm tut. Rhyme with gut. That rhyme with butt. It also rhyme with nut. It also rhyme with cut a mother- Okay, Mr. Um, tut. Yes, we're going to start with you, okay? Fine. Now, it is important that we establish that you two should hear each other out completely. No interrupting. Understood? Fine. Miss Sandy? Whatever. Okay, now, Tut, why don't you explain to me what happened? Okay, so... He hit me! He punched me in the face! I, uh, technically, it wasn't your face, it was the helmet! It don't matter! That's abuse! It was so brutal! I can't believe you beat me! And I'm carrying your child! It was an accident! No, it wasn't! I saw the look in your eyes! Shandy! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. Got out of character. Please try to calm down. It's his turn to speak, okay? Don't tell me to calm down. Why do I have to calm down? He's the one who needs to calm down. He's the woman beater. It was literally one punch. If I cut one nigga hair, do they make me a barber? You think that excuses you? It's the same thing as getting jumped. No, you ain't no barber. <sighs> you guys, stop. This isn't how we handle things here. Now, please, let's get back to this. Mr. Tut, would you care to continue? Calmly? Yeah, I would care to continue. As I was saying. <sighs> okay, so I was just chilling on Halloween, right? Then there one spam robot show up at my door talking about trick or treat like she was a kid wanting to give me head and shit. That sounds like a lie. It is not a lie. Why is a kid robot trying to give you head, Tut Weezy? Shandy, no interrupting. Let Tut tell his version of this story then you'll be able to tell yours from your perspective. Yeah! Now, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, it wasn't no kid. You know how adults be trick-or-treating wanting to get candy? Well, this robot wanted to give me some head because she wanted to know the Krabby Patty secret formula. Uh-huh. I see. Maybe drugs are involved. Let me write that down. 
And this is exactly how it played out. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I was there. Okay. And then what else happened? Y'all don't believe me, but I'm spitting facts. No cap. Anyway, next thing you know, uh, goddamn robot pulled out a gun. <gasps> a weapon? Yeah, she pulled out a gun and demanded that I let her give me head. So I was trying to close the door, but she aimed the gun in my forehand and shot. Oh, my Poseidon. Luckily, my quick reflexes dodged the bullet. Then I was able to close the door. Then I heard another knock. I thought it was the kid again. So I opened the door and swung as hard as I could. And then, uh, unfortunately, it was my baby Shannon standing right there. And I hit her at full force. That's pretty, hmm, pretty wild. Yeah. You didn't tell me all of that happened. It was wild. I mean, in all honesty, I'm glad that Shanda only got punched because she could have got her ass shot. But then I went to this jail and and then Shanda held it down for me while I was there in P.O.P. She bailed a nigga out. And Shandy? Of course I bailed you out. I'm pregnant with your baby. Who else dick am I supposed to get? <laughs> but that still doesn't excuse you for hitting me. You should have known it was me by my knock. I mean, all that I do for you, I cook and clean and make love to you like we just met every time. <laughs> you put our baby in danger. What they got to do with this? And it was an accident, you know. Save it, because that ain't what the neighbors said. They said you hit me on purpose and was hovering over my body like you was going to hit me again. What? Who said that? I don't know the bitch. She was one of your neighbors who looked like a robot disguised as a kid. What? Okay, okay. I see what's going on here. Luckily, we can fix this. Now, Shandy, it is important that we be honest about your feelings, okay? Do you trust your partner? I mean, yeah, I trust him with my life. That's my daddy. Are you positive? Tell me why you trust her. Well, I know that Tut would never abandon me. I know Tut would never chase after another woman. I know Tut would never cheat on me or even come close to it. I know Tut would make an honest living and never do anything that would get him time in prison. I mean jail, but you know, we can get him out of that, but never prison. Mr. Tut, is this true? Uh, she, yeah, hey, yeah, that, that's true. And do you trust Shandy? Man, we don't trust the, I mean, yeah, of course. I trust my baby. I trust my snookums. Clearly you two are made for each other. Both of you are insane. You both realize that, right? You know what? Yeah, yeah, we're insane. But at least we're insane together. And because of that, we're gonna go ahead and consummate this here relationship like we never met before this moment right here in your office. Come on, daddy. Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, we fix our troubles with sex. We don't need no therapy. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh-huh. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right, Daddy. Now let's get to it. I'm ready to ride. Hey, 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 hey. Can I go next? No! Hell no. I want my money back, too. This didn't help at all. I'm, I'm gonna leave a kelp rating. I'm gonna leave his ass a rating on kelp, baby. Yeah, hell yeah. Negative three. This nigga weird. Oh, my Poseidon. Boy, you had some fire gas, but this got me feeling beautiful. I feel like a unicorn or something. What's the name of this? <coughs> Boss, man, you want me to lie to you or you want me to tell you the truth? Uh, the truth, obviously. I could have just made up some name to tell your ass, because that's what I always do. All of it be the same weed. I just tell your ass it's a different name. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I know, right? Don't tell nobody or you're going to be sleeping with the humans. With all due respect, Boss, man. No, I take it. But, hold oh, up, look at the fins on that flounder right there. Well, Poseidon knew what he was doing with them. Woo, hell yeah, boss man. If she give me the chance, I'ma smack that fin upside down. Woo, I'm telling you, boss man, it's gonna get graphic out here. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hold on. This guppy's watching this. We're trying to be less sex oriented. Yeah. oh well. If that's the case, let's make a bet. Shit, let go. First one to fail no nut November gets to have sex with Shandy. Hold on, wait. I'm already doing that, so it don't really make no sense for me to- All right, nigga, damn, you called me. How about a hundred gills? Okay, deal. Good. <laughs> Put it there, boss man. Uh, sketchy? White fish do that. Your head's tripping, nigga. Give me a fist bump or a pinky lock or something. You right, I'm tripping. I be serving mostly white fish. Think that damn habit's starting to rub off on me. I need some Hennessy ASAP. Hmm. I wonder how I'ma spend this hundred gills. Maybe I can invest in some stocks or something.
Nah, I'm gonna buy some shit I tell myself I need because I'm depressed. How you holding up, boss, man? You need some relief? Hmm? Only cost your ass about a uh, hundred gears. I know you got the money from Double Seaweed Deluxe. <laughs> I've been watching your pocket. Okay, stay, stay calm, calm to it. It's, it's only the thickest customer that's ever walked, walked in this store. It smells so good in here. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Don't, Don't look, look at them tatas. Actually, actually look her in the face while she's talking. Hey, Ty. How are you doing today? A fish is so hungry, I can't even lie. Hey, uh, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the busty bat, I mean, the thrusty, ne uh, crusty cr crab. Yeah, welcome. Oops, I dropped something. Let me pick it up. The fish is so clumsy. Oh, my God. This ain't right. Sorry, I didn't mean to put my booty all up like that. I trust you, a respectful man, and ain't look. As a reward, let's go to the bathroom so you can see how this feels. Uh, well, shit, say no more. You ain't got to convince me. Hello? You said what? I thought you said 5 p.m. Bitch, no! I'm gonna come and get my kid. No cap. Y'all got a fish fucked up. Um, everything okay? Hey, sketchy! I gotta leave. I ain't got time for your games. I need my money. Gotta go pick up my kid from this trifling hoe house. Damn, I said trick the nigga for 10 minutes. It's only been two, Keisha. What the fuck? Uh-huh. I knew it. This how we playing? You trying to get me to jack off? Well, it ain't gonna work. Man, what the hell is going on here? Are you Clarence Butterscotch? Uh, that depends on who's asking. I am Sir Francis Dequan III Jr., famous porn director. P -p porn director? Why the hell are you here? The application you sent to Fish Hub has been reviewed and accepted. We're about to shoot your first scene with Violet Myers. Get them clothes off of you. That bastard! He knows Violet Myers, my favorite porn star. Damn that nigga! Oh, damn, what's going on here? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We are in desperate need for a male fish to have sex with famous porn star Violet Myers. Can you do that for us? Oh, damn. I was just coming down here to get a snack. But this way better. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Move over. If I stay here, Skitcha can't set me up to fail. I just got to stay in my house until November over. <laughs> no problem. Uh, my baby mama. I mean... Oh, yay! My baby mama. Hey, baby. Hey, daddy. What you doing? Oh, I'm just at home. Not trying to go outside. Outside bad. Inside safe. Oh, okay, daddy. So, I just talked to Sandy like you asked me to do. And she said she down to have a three-way with us. You know, menage a it up. <laughs> if you still interested. Uh, a a three-way with two sisters? That's every man's dream, baby. Yes, let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. Sketchy put you up to this, didn't he? What? Sketchy paid you to make me fail No Nut November, didn't it? What you talking about? Okay, you unloyal fish. I see how it is. Better luck next time, Sketchy. Trying to trick me and shit. Mm. Well, never mind, Sandy. I guess he changed his mind. Why that donut looking kinda? No, stop, Tut. Resist the temptation. Captain's love. It's been one day, and I've gone blind in my right eye. Who invented this trend? However, I cannot fail No Nut November. I'm going to be the first man to successfully do it. I will succeed. End. Boss man, please give in. I can't take it no more. I got aroused by looking at a tree stump with a hump in it yesterday. This shit is killing me. No, you give in first. I can keep this up all day if I have to. Excuse me, guys. Would you mind helping us out? I tired, Pop, that we'd be very graceful if you guys help. Uh, graceful? I, don't you mean grateful? But okay, how? How, how you need help? Uh, can y'all handle 10 girls at a time? I don't know, boss man. This don't feel right. You know what, Sketchy? I ain't turning this down. Ty, fuck it. Ty, let's go. One or a G later. Oh, what the? Ow! What's that? Oh my God! Oh my Poseidon! My kidney! It's gone! Oh shit! My kidney too! Sketchy! Oh, what happened last night? I don't know. I just remember laying down on the bed full of naked women. I saw this girl pouring pills in our drinks and I thought it was Viagra. 
get this wood knocked us out. Damn. You know what, Sketch? What, boss man? I didn't even know fishes had kidneys. Ah, bikini bottom. These streets used to be so clean, you could eat off of it. Like literally, grab a fork and eat your grandma's leftover fried chicken, cornbread, maybe some mac and cheese, a little fried okra. Mm, I'm making myself hungry. Anyway, like I was saying, you was able to eat right in the middle of the road. Delicious, concrete, all that, clean. Now the streets are filled with crooks and corruption when Cornell man mysteriously disappeared. The crime rates drastically skyrocketed. Just the other night, I saw an old lady rob some Girl Scouts for some cookies. Then she stomped their asses out even after they gave her what she wanted. Trifling. Now it's up to me to clean these streets and be the hero this city needs. Who am I? My name is Danger Fish. Because wherever there's danger, I shall be there to save the day. And hey, nigga, I told you get out my roof. Next time I come out here, I'm pushing you off. Damn, man, you messed up my whole monologue. Can you just give me one more minute up here? I got a whole perfect view of the city and everything. Man, no. You been up there for a half an hour every day for the past month and fighting no crime. You supposed to be a superhero, but you ain't even got no powers. Hey, Batman ain't got no powers either, but that nigga kick ass. Nigga, you ain't Batman, nor are you Cornell, man. But I'm what this city needs. Who you even supposed to be? They call me Danger Fish. <laughs> who, is, who is they? And Danger Fish? <laughs> That's the most stupid name I ever heard, bro. Hey, shut up. I might risk my life so you can sleep at night easy. Wait, <laughs> ain't you the nigga that work in the Gallagher Grub? <laughs> With the weird ass hat? Me? Uh, no. I'm not Tut. I'm Danger Fish. <laughs> nah, you definitely a nigga who work at the cash register. Y'all got the same little hat. Look at it. Turn to the side. Yeah, that's your stupid ass. No, that's the wrong nigga. Now, uh, I must flee and go fight crime. And it's not a weird fan. It's my mom, I mean, Tut's mother said it's special. 211 in progress, Bikini Bottom Bank. Hey, Roger that. Danger Tut is on the scene. What's the 211 again? Wait, who is this? Is this the nigga that stole Roger's police scanner? Uh, gotta go. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think a 211 got something to do with a sexy fish taking her clothes off. I'm there. <sighs> Unreliable policeman. I guess I'll just handle this myself. All right, sexy lady. Where you at? Oh, ah! What? A, a 211? Bank robbery? That make more sense. Damn, Squid, it's like that since you got fired? You real damn bad, my boy. All right, Playboy. What I'm gonna need you to do is drop the cash and turn yourself in. Game is over. Move, Todd. Ah! Oh my God, that hurt. I think you cracked the rib. Wait, do fishes even have bones? I'll look that up later. <sighs> okay. Perhaps you misheard me, squid man. I'm gonna need you to drop that cash with your nasty, sticky tentacles, put all them tentacles up, and turn your ugly mega mind looking ass in. Wait. <laughs> Why are you wearing a plastic bag? But no, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, shut up, I'm on a budget. But alright, that's how it's gonna be, Squid. You making me do this, remember that. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, 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 stop. I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Chill out, chill out. Ah! Man, I probably should leave this to the professionals. No. What would Cornell man do in these harsh times? And now my groin is swelling. Anyways. <laughs> All right, interesting choice of a flashback, but he's right. I cannot give up. This ain't over with, Squid. I will find you. Morning, boss man. Oh, shit. Who kicked your ass? I, uh, I, I fell and broke my arm and my whole body. Yeah. Wait. Fishes have bones? You know what? That was never clarified, but yeah, that's all it was. I wasn't out fighting no crime at night or nothing. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird to mention. But yo, me and Kmo, we inviting some strippers over later tonight. You should come through, boss man. Hmm. If, if I'm, I'm partying with Sketchy, then that, that means, means the streets of Bikini, Bikini Bottom, Bottom won't be patrolled. patrolled. It, it could put, put lives in danger. Yeah, Candy gonna be there too. Well, her big boot ass. <laughs> Oh, wait, Candy? You know what, Sketchy? I will be there tonight. I guess Crime Fight can take a little break. What up, Tut? Damn, I miss your ugly ass. 
Oh, look what we got here. Y'all get together, make your own show, and think y'all better than me, huh? Is that it? I mean, obviously, nigga, you still see us popping up in your shit. So why you hating? I ain't even hating. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know what? Never mind that. Where the big booty strippers at? That's what I'm here for. Uh, look, obviously, I lied to you, boss, man. You clearly here for another reason. Okay, no big booty strippers. All right, uh, what I'm hearing is you purposely got my hopes up for big booty strippers and then did not complete the mission of having big booty strippers. All right, what y'all want? Y'all need help on y'all show or something? Boy, hell no. Nah. <laughs> this you, ain't it? <laughs> he throwing your little head ass around like a little rag doll. <laughs> Look, he's still on you. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, that, that ain't me. That's clearly not me. That's Dangerfish. Look at the costume. That's the stupidest name I've ever heard, boss man. <laughs> you could have did way better than that. <laughs> I thought it was a cool choice of a name for that hero. Because, you know, it's not me. So why y'all coming at my neck like that? You ain't fooling nobody, nigga. You wearing a costume under your clothes right now as we speak. <laughs> I can smell a trash bag still. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched this thing. All right, okay, all right, okay. Hypothetically, what if I am Danger Fish? What of it? We want to recruit you into our team, boss man. We need your help. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say need. It's kind of a strong tour of the words. More like uh, an assist. <laughs> an assist? What y'all trying to make a team or something? What in Poseidon is going on here? Sweet baby Aquaman. How can y'all afford this? How did it even just happen? The mechanism don't even make sense. The water should rust it under, I don't know. Boss man, meet the team. This right here is Captain Destruction, the coldest nigga in the game. I see him take down 4,000 men in the same time. Scary shit I ever seen in my life. <laughs> his backstory was someone assassinated both of his parents and they cracked his phone screen, turned him to a vigilante of crime. And since that day, he destroyed anyone who gets in his way to serve justice. He's unstoppable. Yep, that'd be me. Hey, didn't you die in the previous episode? I think I seen him. Wait, that nigga under the, under the big ass uh, snail? Keep walking, fella. Ain't nothing to see here. It's best to block out the screams. <laughs> that way you don't think about it. You ain't gonna feel bad later. Y'all can't kill me. I'm like a roach. I come back. Yeah, it's some weird shit. But... This right here is Miss Sexy. My name isn't Miss Sexy. My name is Miss Seduction. Her backstory takes place months ago. A fisherman hooked her and her husband. Finally get away from the evil hooks, her clothes were turned off. She made it. Her husband didn't. From then on, she pleaded to fight evil with a little or no clothes. <laughs> and I love this shit. It's nice to meet you. Oh, damn. It's, it's real nice to meet you, too. Just fine, then. And my name is Dope Man. I fight crime with and for the love of weed. Man, my strength so strong it can send the strongest mind to the moon. One day I smoked the blunt so strong that it genetically altered my DNA, turning me into the dope man. And they call me soft shooter. I shoot niggas. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, you ain't got no backstory or nothing? Uh, you know, I thought about making up some shit, but no, I just love to shoot niggas. <laughs> you wanna try? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good on that. So, y'all cool and all, but it's nothing compared to, aha, danger fish. I know, I know, hold the applause. Are you wearing a plastic bag over your head? Oh, <laughs> danger fish, that shit still gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that shit get me every time, man. That's crazy, boy. Please don't go with that name. <laughs> you know what, hey, why did y'all bring me here? Huh? What is the purpose of my presence? Dope Man and Sharpshooter mentioned you fought Dr. Squid. He got his ass whooped by Dr. Squid. We were hoping you could tell us some information about his attacks. For you, gorgeous, I'll tell you anything. Wait! Ah! Hey, you're trying to use your sexy powers to make me give you information. It won't work. You was close, but no cigar. If you want my help on this, I want in. I want to go round two with the Squid Man. It's Dr. Squid. I'm not calling him that. That's stupid. And some people would say Danger Fish is even stupider. Dumb ass. <laughs> All right, that's it. Screw you guys. I'm going home. All right, Cartman. You're in. <clears throat> All right. Listen up, everybody. 
So we know this nigga has been robbing for the past three weeks. He in a total of 15 robberies. He's working fast. Some banks, some gas stations, some stores, damn JC Pennies, et cetera, et cetera. What could you tell us about him, Tut? What do you know? I think it's really surprising that the two of you would care to even fight crime. That's very out of character, but okay. Well, from what I remember, uh, he uses multiple tentacles to attack as weapons. What? Bro, we already knew that. Yeah, that was about the most useless information that we have received. Too bad. Y'all already recruited me. <laughs> no take backs. Okay, I guess that was a big ass waste of time. But let's not forget the main reason of going after Dr. Squid here, okay? To stop crime? <laughs> this nigga talking about crime still. No! Dr. Squid got about $3 million. When we done kicking his ass, we gonna rob him. Keep the money for ourselves. Leaving us with 600000 each. Ain't we some geniuses? <laughs> oh, oh. So that's why y'all care. Now it make a lot of sense. I mean dollars. Crime fighting don't pay the bills, Tut. Stealing from niggas do. <laughs> so is you in or is you out? Shit, $600,000 to fight one nigga? I feel like Floyd Mayweather or something. I'm in. Hmm. I could use that money to buy an unlimited amount of Birkin bags. We have a 12-11 in progress. It sounds like Dr. Squid. We own it. Hold your position. Will do, dope man. Thank you. Hey, Dangerfish is here too. Fuck you, boy. Well, damn, all right. Stop right there, Squiddy. We got you outnumbered this time. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You think you can stop the doctor? Go get him, Captain Destruction. Go get on his ass. <laughs> you in trouble now. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, stand back, feel free to take some notes if you need to, I'm going to show you how it's done. <laughs> Captain Destructo's destroyed. <laughs> well damn, he was no help at all. We'll see, I mean I guess that means we get part of his cut. So that gives us 750000 east now. I'm glad that nigga did it. <laughs> that sounds fair. Take that nigga! Bang, bang, bitch! <laughs> Thank you, honey. Wait, that's it? Come on, man, don't do me like that, animators. I'm trying to impress Mr. Seductive over here. It's not working. Oh, he touched me with this stick out of his tentacle. Wait, why was my life a lot lower than the other people? Y'all better stop playing with me, animators. Don't play with my money, pussy boy. Ah, ah, don't stab me with that needle. What the hell are you doing? Shut the hell up and take it, Tut. This will make you feel better. Uh, hey, wait. Came more of that needle you stabbed me with. It's kind of making me feel funny. Whoops. My bad. I accidentally shot you with a steroid generator. <laughs> oh, well. A, a, a steroid? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take that. We got him. Where's the money, Dr. Squid? Where you keeping the stash? You'll never find it. <laughs> I donated all the money to the children's hospitals. No! Now why would you do some dumb shit like that? Damn, why you do all my money? I'll, I'll kill you, you bastard. Dope man, we gotta go. The cops are coming. My seduction can't work on all of them. Woo! Not a waste of my time. So, uh, Miss Seduction, any chance that I can, you know, walk you home? It's only right I do the right thing in this situation, right? Oh, no, that's fine. k and Sketchy told me you have a girl. Sorry. Wait, they said what? Yeah, which kind of sucks because you're kind of cute. And I'm an absolute freak in the bed. But oh, well, guess you'll never know. I hate y'all so, so, so very much. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Squid, it's a pleasure to meet you. Are you a talking snail? Yes, yes, I'm a talking snail, but that's not important. I'm putting a team together to get revenge on Tut Weezy and his friends. Are you in? Man, I 
hate this boss, man. This ain't right. Why we gotta be up here feeding grown adults on Thanksgiving? Relax, Sketchy. We on probation. We gotta do community service. To me, this is way better than being in prison. This ain't better. I love being with my family in there. That's actually the best place to smuggle drugs. Rich dudes that got locked up be willing to pay your whole tuition if they could just get a little taste. <laughs> uh, what? Well, look, you can take your behind back to jail whenever you want. But right now, I'm trying to get my life back together. No more jail for Tut Weezy. I am stating it. It will never happen again. That's the spirit, boss, man. I believe in you. Shit, I believe in me, too. All right, cool. So what we got to make? Uh, say on the menu, bean soup. Bean soup? Yep, bean soup. What kind of bean? It don't say. It don't even have no ingredients. It just say bean soup. So how are we supposed to do that then? Man, I don't know. Just get some beans, put it in water. Bean soup. Man, nah, we can't serve that to people, boss, man. Why not? You got to understand quality products. I only give people the best of the best. It's in my drug dealing nature, boss, man. I just can't do that shit. Well, how are we supposed to make bean soup that's quality when we don't even have a recipe? That's a good point. I don't know what we can do. Hey, fellow service members, I'm just an ex-convict that clearly, clearly, clearly isn't a robot. How are you guys today? Man, what you want, ex-convict lady? Well, I just happened to overhear your problem. I think I can help you gentlemen with this problem. You can help us for real. What you got in mind, lady? Well, I think the solution to the problem is simple, but it has one problem. If only we knew someone who knew how to cook. Maybe if we knew an employee of a fast food chain. Maybe even somewhere cool like the Krusty Krab. We would have an easy solution if so. Too bad we don't know anyone like that. Wait, that's us. We work in the food industry. Tell her, boss man. Yeah, uh, I, I guess he right. We work for the Krusty Krab. Wow, well, you guys are so cool. I can't believe I'm speaking to actual Krusty Krab employees. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, we kind of are a big deal. Yes, you are such a big deal. <laughs> anyway, now I have a solution to the problem. We can feed the homeless Krabby Patties. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. I think all of the ingredients are in the kitchen. Oh my goodness, Sketchy, do you really think that it is a good idea? Yeah, I think it is a good idea. Wait a minute. I don't remember Sketchy telling you his name. Ah. Uh... Yeah, wait. I didn't tell you my name. Did I say Sketchy? I only said that because I was ah. Uh... Um... Sketching. Sketching as in drawing. I was drawing something on my computer screen face. Wait. How you drawing on your face like that? Are you a robot? Yes, I am a robot. I mean, no, no, no. No, I am not a robot. I am just a little kid. I mean, I'm not a little kid. I'm just an ex-convict. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this. I'm gonna need some help making the food, though. I can't do all them damn burgers by myself. Lord knows I be having trouble while I'm at work. I would help you, Sketchy, but I can't grill crappy patties to save my life. I can make the actual patty. I just can't grill them for nothing. Don't worry, boss, man. I can handle the product creation. You just handle packaging and distribution. Man, why are you talking like this pounds of seaweed? Perfect. Okay, I will just go over here and make sure the kitchen is clean before you guys start. <laughs> hey, Sketch. I don't like that lady robot. Something seemed off about her. Yeah, I think I sent something too. She wants something from us. I can tell when people want something from me. It's dangerous. She looks like she'll do anything to get what she want to. Right. She is an ex-con. Who knows why she in jail? Keep your eyes open. We might got to handle her. Handle her? You sure, boss man? I ain't never killed no lady before. I ain't even got my strap on me. Shh. We can do this an easier way. We can poison her ass. I got some milk of the poppy right here in my back pocket. Look. Man, why the hell do you just keep poison on you? I usually don't. But there's this little kid that's been cock blocking me lately, so I'm trying to take care of his ass. Okay, well I guess it's not as bad as shooting somebody. Right, now all I'm gonna do is put a whole lot of it in one crabby patty. And then, I give her ass that one. She gonna eat it, and the heart gonna stop. Okay, sounds like a plan, boss man. Hey, Big Zaddy Sketchy, I have a proposal for you. Ha, <laughs> I knew you wanted something. The answer is no. Oh, just a straight up no? Yup, I don't know what you been scheming, but I don't want no part of it. Dang it, I was hoping that the rumors about you were true. Rumors? What rumors? Well, Sketchy, I will be honest. I have known about you for a while now. I did slip up and say your name earlier, but the reason I hid it was because I was so nervous. I've heard so much about you. What you hear about me? 
I heard that you were a businessman before everything else. So when you said no, I was disappointed because I thought you were a businessman. You goddamn right I'm a businessman. If you're truly a businessman, will you hear my proposal? Talk. You got 10 seconds of my time. Can you convince Tweezy to record himself making a Krabby Patty? It's a fetish of mine. You want what? That's a weird ass fetish, but okay. What's in it for me? I will give you five dollars and some sloppy choppy. Shit, damn! Uh, here y'all go. And no, we don't have any extra condiments. Hey, Daddy. How's it going? Oh, baby. Uh, what you doing here? I was bored at home. I binge watched the new season of you already and didn't have anything else to do. Uh, how did you know I was here? You shared your location with me after therapy that one day we had wild sex in the therapist's office. You remember? Uh, damn. Uh, it was that good? I ain't never shared my location before. <laughs> well, now I'm here, hanging with my big daddy on Thanksgiving, and you can't get rid of me. Well, baby, I'm doing community service. I'm working. It's fine. I love to watch you work. It's a turn on. I'll just be in the back chilling with these homeless people. Uh, I right, bet. Can I get you anything? Uh, you want a Krabby Patty or something? A Krabby Patty? I never really had one of those before. Is it okay for the baby? I don't want to give him anything unhealthy. Nah, it should be fine. Ooh, you gonna love it. I can't believe you never had one before. I'm gonna have you a special one made with double seaweed deluxe on the side. Okay, Daddy. I'm so excited. You know I love to eat. Especially right now. In my condition. I will also need two of those, sir. Quit screwing around and take your deformed teddy bear looking self back there and fix them patties, boy. Where did you even come from? Do you want me to call the parole officer on you? Because I will do it and tell him that you're slacking. Alright, I got some for your ass. Hold on. Let me go get you an extra special patty. <laughs> I'ma pour like five doses on this patty. The heart gonna stop instantly. There is no way that you can survive this. Here you go. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's gonna be the last meal your ass ever eat. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I am thrilled that you have given me this. I'm just going to take this one back home to my lab and analyze it. I mean, I'm going to take this back home and eat it later. Take it back home? No, oh, you gotta eat it while it's hot. It ain't gonna taste the same. But I want one for when I get home tonight for my husband. He will beat me if I don't give him a Krabby Patty. He has been wanting to get his hands on a Krabby Patty for years. It's okay, I'm gonna get you another one ASAP. Just go ahead and eat it right now. You sure? Positive. Eat. Okay, here goes nothing. I mean, it is really yummy. <laughs> I know it's yummy. Huh? You got any last words? I don't get it. What do you mean by last words? That doesn't make sense. But can I have my other Krabby Patty now? How you feeling? You having any? Heart issues or something? I don't have a heart because I am a robot. I mean, my heart is beating just fine. So where's my other patty playboy? Beating just fine? Hmm, maybe I didn't use enough. I'll be right back. This time, I'm gonna use the whole goddamn bottle. One extra special Krabby Patty right here. Oh, is this one mine? I got so hungry. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, wait, hold on. Wait, stop. Mmm, yeah. It's so good. Baby, no! <coughs> <coughs> this is so, so... Uh. Baby! Oh, somebody call the doctor! Well, I don't know how she ingested so much poison from that burger, but thanks to your quick action and the exact knowledge of the poison that was used, we are able to save her and the baby's life. They are expected to make a full recovery in a couple of days. Whew! Man, that's a relief. Yeah, it sure is. I almost cried a little when I heard you might lose your kid, boss, man. I do want to know how she ingested so much poison, though. It truly doesn't make sense. I know how she injected poison. I learned from the other volunteer that you two niggas the one that served her the damn patty. What? Who you hear that from? This one lady that looked like a robot. Caught y'all ass in 4K. She told us everything. You niggas is going to jail. But I ain't even do nothing this time. Yeah, me either. Save it for the judge. Y'all come take these niggas away. <laughs> So, I see you guys are back, huh? What'd you do this time? Hmm. Silence. No one wants to talk. Huh? Nothing? I'm just ready to leave. I'm done with him. Ah, there we are. Shandy, thank you for speaking. Now, do you want to go first this time? Ain't nothing else to talk about. I'm leaving him. Shandy, it is important that we understand why you want to leave. Yeah, it's important. 
You know I need to know why you leaving so I can figure out how to come back into your life someday. That's how we do exes around here. Toxic boys for life. Now, Mr. Tut, no interrupting. Yeah, no interrupting. You're such a delinquent, knucklehead. I ain't no damn delinquent or knucklehead. Mr. Tut, one more outburst and we're going to have you wear the dunce cap over there. <laughs> now, Shandy, please tell us your side of the story. Okay, so it was Thanksgiving. And that's one of my favorite holidays. It's so much food and I love to eat, you know. It just be so great. Plus, I know how important it is to be with the one you love on Thanksgiving. So I decided to show up while Tut was doing community service. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I know, right? I was so excited to see him, too. Stop gassing her head up. You're making this harder for me. Hush. Then, Tut said that he was going to feed me while I was there. So I was even more excited. He said that he was going to make me a special burger just for me. My heart melted when he said that. I was so excited. Oh, I'm sure you were. Small acts of kindness like that go a long way for the one you love. It truly does. And you know the saying, the best way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. And when I saw him say that he had that extra special burger ready for me, I almost cried. Wept even. I was so ready to eat. And me and the baby, we were so hungry. He was in there kicking like a little soccer player. I know he's going to make me some money. Well, us some money. If we could just keep him alive. And then what happened? To my surprise, the burger had poison in it. <gasps> oh my. Tut poisoned me. He watched me eat a poison patty burger. He almost killed me and the baby. His baby. Wait, it wasn't even for you. I put poison on the burger because I was trying to kill the robot inmate. Sir, shouldn't he wear the dummy hat? I mean, what did you call it? Actually, you're right. Tut, put the hat on. Um, this story is even crazier than I thought. I'm not putting on the hat. Put the hat on or you don't get a refund. Yeah, it looked good on you. But anyway, so I quit. I'm done. I can't do this anymore with him. Look at him. Stupid ass. Okay, now that we've heard Shandy's side of the story, let's hear your side of the story, Tuck. Thank you. Finally, a real nigga get to talk. So like I was saying, I'm doing my community service, me and Sketch Dog. Um... Who is this sketch dog? That's another one of my friends that be influencing me and stuff. So like I was saying, we in the kitchen. Oh yeah, his friend's sexy as hell too. Bitch. So yeah, we in the soup kitchen and uh, his robot inmate coming there talking about some do this, do that. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm the only boss around here. And Sketch is like, wait a minute boss man, you the only boss man. I'm like, hell yeah, I am the only boss man. So he say I should kill her. And I'm like, what? He like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So I put poison in the patty and I try to give it to her, but I end up somehow switching it up and giving it to Shandy. Yeah. How come I never saw the robot jailbird, Tut? Yes, Tut. So this robot, does it tell you to do things or make you feel uncomfortable sometimes? Yeah, one time it was trying to make me let it give me head. I'm like, what? I don't want no robot kid head. Now we bringing this crazy bitch back in our lives. You see why I can't deal with him anymore? Oh, okay. I must write this down. Definitely drugs. Who else you know got a crazy robot inmate child stalker? I can't deal with this. Now, Shandy... You said you wanted it to end. What exactly do you hope to get from it ending? Child support. Hey, 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 the C word. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Doctor, I was I was just talking. I was I was talking crazy. I decided my neck. You know what I'm saying? I think we can figure this out. We can make this work. Right, baby? I don't know. Maybe if there were some conditions, I'd be open to it. Uh, okay. Conditions? Uh, like what? For starters, I want my feet rubbed at least three times a week. And I want you to take me out on dates to nice restaurants. And I also want you to be home more. Yeah, you need to be at home like me. And last but not least, you can never bring up that little robot bitch ever again. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, cool. You know what? You got it. Robot bitch gone. You'll never hear another word from me about no robot bitch nowhere. Not even a real bitch. I promise. And you need to change the face ID on your phone to my face. No, never. Well, can I at least get the passcode? Yeah, I at least need the passcode. Hell no, Doc, she tweaking. Now, Tut, I think this is a reasonable request. All right, okay. So how about I give you my passcode, but she got to give me her passcode. Oh, no, uh-uh. I ain't doing that. But you know what? 
I still want all the other things that I said. All the way up to that never seen that crazy robot bitch again. Okay, we can do it. Crazy robot bitch, go on. Okay, perfect. Now, I will be emailing you about the cost of this. I have went up five times because my baby mama has me on child support. And I added the cleaning fees from the cushions from last time you two were here. Ooh, daddy. You remember when we were here last time? How the last session ended? Oh yeah, I, I remember exactly how it ended. I'm starting to get flashbacks. Ooh, can we do that one? Part two. You know part two's always better. Oh yeah, part two always better. Except for some movies. Like, they make a sequel and it be whack. But Shut up, daddy. Just get over here and put your whole body on me. Yeah, fuck the cleaning costs. Charge me, boy. We got, we got a baby that's going to make us a lot of money. Oh, he kicking out. Go, little Ernesto. Oh, what's his name? I don't know. I don't follow soccer. Oh, we're all making money this time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this is the perfect spot to sit at. I got a whole view of the city. Smoke me a little something, something, you know, calm my nerves from hard, long day at work. <sighs> you know what? I wonder, what's on the other side of that water? Hey! Hi! <laughs> hey! 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 Where you come from? Oh. I was just walking my dog. <laughs> uh, I don't see no dog right there, man. But okay. Hey, I overheard you talking about the other side of the water. I once heard a tall tale. <laughs> this one guy named Flan Banigan, he went to the other side of the water, but he was never to be found again. Man, I'm a real fish. You think stories like that scare me? Look at me then. Look up there then. Look back at me. Huh? You think I can't go? I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. Also, what you betting me? It sounds like you betting me to go up there. Cause you know what I do the best. I fall through. I, I mean, follow through. You think I won't go up there? I will. Uh. Okay, bet. I'm going. You ain't gotta pressure me. Uh. Good luck, sir. There goes another one, just like Flan Banigan. Oh, my dog is pooping on my shoe. <laughs> Man, I swear I hate swimming, even though I'm a fish. Why I can't drive my boat up here? Why that don't make sense? How gravity keep the boats on the ground if it floats? I don't know. Water is weird. Cartoons are different. Uh, this is tough. <sighs> I could do it, though. Just like that one time, she told me to go deeper. I went deeper. I also had a hospital visit after that. I was never the same after. Oh, I'm almost there. Tat, hey, how's it going? Uh, Marlon, what you? How you get up? You know what? Never mind. We'll handle that in another episode. Ooh, I made it! Take that random guy with invisible dog. That dog didn't have no helmet on. It was also invisible. You know what? I am no longer questioning cartoon logic. Hey, what's that over there? I wonder. What's on the other side of that tree? Hmm. Alright, let's go. I made it this far. Oh! 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 Where am I? Where am I? What? What's going on? Okay, I still got my body. I'm still intact. Everything is white. A pencil? Oh, okay. Uh, I remember seeing one of these, one of these human shows I watch. What am I? I'm supposed to, I guess, draw with this? Yeah. Yeah. I can create a whole new world here. You know what? Forget the bikini bottom. I don't need it. I'll just draw a whole new world from scratch. First thing I'm gonna start off with is some bad fishes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, I gotta make a thick. No, 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 no. Thicker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Long hair. Nice little fin on her. Hey! It came to life. What's up? What's up? What you trying to do? Hey, hey! Yeah, what's up with you? You ever met a real fish like me? Yeah, hi, me, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. That wasn't the language that I can understand, but sound like you get some good, you know what? Never mind, never mind. I'm erasing you. You out of here. I don't need you. Uh-uh. My standards are way too high. Hmm. What else can I draw? I wonder if I draw a pencil. What would happen? Ooh, I always wanted a 4 PF chain. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. Gang, gang. Yeah. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, I'm just here alone with a chain. This is not enough. I need to draw something else. Maybe. I need to draw me a house. I need a new crib. Yeah, draw me a little little mansion or something. All right, I got the house done. Let me go inside, see what it look like. 
It's empty. Oh, that's right. I gotta draw the furniture and stuff too. Man, that's too much work. Brain hurt. You know what? Let me draw another me to help me think. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Why you sound like that? Why I can't draw people with voice boxes? Everything I draw can't talk English. Hey, give me that back. What you doing? No. Hey. Hey. Chill out. What you doing? Don't erase my house. Oh, you want a war? If you want war, then that's what it is. I'm finna draw up a blicker block of blam. I got something for you. Yeah. You ain't never seen a gun this big, have it? Huh? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. Why did I not think to draw that? And why is it so well detailed? Ah! Oh. Oh. No. Stop. Quit it, you monster. Yeah. You think you're finna leave me here? You're not. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh! Oh, he erased it. This is the dumbest, smartest nigga I know. Well, look like I'm stuck here with no pencil. I don't know what to do now. Oh, hey, what up, Tuck? Hey, you look a little different. Anyways, uh, let me get my usual, yeah? Black and mix, yeah, black and mix, black, 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 yeah. Why, Tut? Why? Hey, boss man, I want to talk to you about. Oh, shit! You know what? Never mind, boss man. I think I'm gonna go home for the day. Black and mix, black, 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 black. Boss man, hell no! I want to help you take over the bikini bottom. I got stuff to do. You got it, boss man. I'm gonna take the day off. <laughs> Black and black and black black and black black Meanwhile <laughs> Oh, a text message. Somebody care about me. I knew somebody realized I was gone. It's Sandy. Oh, hey, you were great. Seeing you last night, for some reason you felt bigger. Damn him! He's trying to ruin my life! I gotta figure some type of way out of here. Think, 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 Tut. Oh, yeah. There was that one juice there. Sensei Vader taught me. Uh, uh, let me just build some chocolate real quick. Uh, uh. Oh, oh! It worked! I could have just summoned a pencil this whole time? I've been here 20 years! It feels like 20 years. Screw that. I'm getting out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Time to get my life back. Back, 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 back. Wood in my motherfucking back pocket. Caught a shit and hit a leap, nigga. I'ma be using my key, cause I let out this beast on the beat, nigga. Oh shit. Look in the mirror, I'm cold, how cool, sis. Wait, that's a nigga. That shit is crazy, bro. I know my heart about to blow like I'm data rub. My bitch 1010, cause the tools stay with her. Where I go, you see my dogs, Kakashi. If she fat, she get the wood like Hashi. Rama, I'm not for the drama. I watch my bitch blossom. She a doctor, nigga. I feel like she's Sakura. Whoa, I know her spots and she ready, rotated like Neji. I feel like I'm Kabuto. You get dissected on reckless.